So in this video, we're actually going to be discussing the new trailer that was just dropped by 2K. And honestly, I am not going to lie to you guys. Just, you know, I'm not even going to try to waste your time. I am not impressed at all by this whole new trailer stuff. Uh, I mean, maybe new players are coming onto the game that have never played 2K before. They might be impressed with all these new additions to to the game. But we've experienced this before, you know, guys that have been playing this game um, for a minute now. You know, I've been playing, you know, regularly since 2K17. This is just another boring stuff to us. Like, you know, is it cool they drop some micro stuff? Yes, it is. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, for us players, this is not the news that we care about. You know, all, all these money they spend, you know, into Korea, you know, this is something they can also spend um, on the game, you know, because at the end of the day, for someone like myself, and I'm sure for a lot of you guys playing the game, some of the key stuff that we care about. You know, for example, I'm a rec player, right? So I'm basically just wondering, are we still going to get the same rec? Are we going to get the same, you know, silly AIs that can't shoot the ball? You know, are we still going to get guys thinking they're good, running fives in rec, playing against randoms, and then messaging randoms saying they're calling them bums? I mean, these are all the things that I'm, I'm basically thinking about. You know, this trailer, look, as you can see, it's the same studio stuff that we got last year. So clearly there's some kind of endorsements here. Uh, from 2k um they, they just i feel like 2k at the end of the day at the moment what they're doing is they're not in sync with the community i mean i feel like they just make a video game and they expect us to like it as opposed to them actually listening to what we're suggesting and then making those changes in the game now i could be wrong i think we're going to get some my career or in detailed my career sort of updates literally two days before the game comes out and I do hope 2K make me eat my words, but you know, from history, I doubt they're gonna make any changes to the rec. I doubt they're gonna fix Pro M, um, you know, which is why a lot of squads don't go to Pro M because it just it just does not work. You know, they all come to rec, and unfortunately, they have to play a bunch of bots the whole day. Um, and you have players like me. I love playing rec solo. I don't want to squad up with any other players. I just literally just want to go in there, queue in, and just play with, with randoms. It's fun that way, but it's not fun when you have to play consistently with full fives running zone recalling plays it, it just takes away the fun element of the game um also with my career i mean what they could have added this year um to be fair it, it is a bit of a late notice i don't think a lot of people brought brought this up last year but they could have added some sort of some sort of co-op stuff to the game um i do think that would have made it a little bit more fun um but yeah i mean this is just the first glimpse of the game and i'll be completely honest with you like i am not impressed at all with this trailer it is very very basic um i didn't see anything that makes me go wow um the only thing that, the other thing i've released um sorry released this this uh, this week was the michael jordan release which is with a great uh, with the late green animation uh but apart from that uh look I love 2K and I'm always going to play the game, so I'm not going to you know, stay, stay here and you know, say anything else. But at the end of the day, there is, there's a massive divide between you know what game they give us and what the community is suggesting them to do. I mean, someone like J. Cole, take J. Cole for example, he's in a game. Look, I love the guy, not my cup of tea when it comes to his music. But do you know how much they probably paid J. Cole to get in on this game? Do you know how much they paid all these other actors to get on the game? Do you know how much they have to pay the developers? I bet you they don't have to even pay their devs to add a new rec to the game. Just add a new Jordan rec. That's it. We're not asking for anything crazy. You guys do updates every season. Update the rec. Update the, 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 the kits. You know, make the game a little bit more fun, a bit more brand new. Look, we're going to pay you anyway. Look, I'm going to pay you 2K. You've taken all my money throughout the years. So that this year is not going to be any different. At least make me enjoy my money a little bit when it comes to the game. Because... Right now, yeah, I'm just losing faith. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I, I didn't see anything that impressed me in that trailer. And, you know, look, they're going to drop more news over the coming days. Um, So, you know, we'll see what, they, what they've what they got to say. But, I mean, let, let me know if you get, what you guys think. Maybe, maybe they did impress you guys. I mean, I highly doubt it. If you've been playing the game for a minute, this trailer is just complete BS. You know, let's be honest. Uh, if you're a new player to the game, you might find it exciting, this whole concept of my career. And I find it a little bit silly as well, because in the cutscenes, you know, let me just run up for a quick minute here. In the cutscenes, the cutscenes never 
correlate with the gameplay. You know, for example, in the cutscenes, you hear them saying stuff like, oh, AI is trash, um, yada, yada, yada. But if I'm playing a game, I know I'm going to be dropping at least 40, 50, 60 points. I'm going to be dropping more points than my rival. So, therefore, to have a cutscene saying, oh, AI is trash, AI is going to go undrafted, it just doesn't even correlate to what's actually going on in the game. At least have different cutscenes whereby, you know, if you're having stats of like a, a number one to a number 10 player, you get one cutscene. If you're getting drafted completely terrible, again, I don't know why you play terrible in my career unless you're completely new to the game. But if you are, then you get a different cutscene. At least makes it a bit more fun. But you have this fixed gameplay, fixed everything. It doesn't even change regardless of how I play. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just a little quick rant for me. I know 2K will never change any of those. But again, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys like the trailer. You know, if there's, if there's anything you guys are hoping to see in the game next year. Because I'll be honest, not next year. What am I talking about? Next week. The game literally comes out next week. But if there's anything, the one thing I want is no, like, squads allowed in wreck. That's the one thing I want. And also no AIs. Because I'm going to be playing a lot of solo games by myself or one of my friends or two of my friends. We're never going to play as a five. So, I don't want to be consistently playing fives the whole damn time. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to see what other news TK has to drop for us. But so far, nothing impressive. Maybe they'll prove me wrong and they're going to add all these stuff into the game. But uh, I, honestly, I am not going to hold my breath at all. Thank you.